Good morning. We are on the beach. Late start. It's about half past ten. There was nothing to record this morning. Couldn't record in the food hall. Food didn't feel too good. Had quite a lot to eat last night. Too many cakes. Too much ice cream. So I thought we'd have a couple of slices of toast. Get out. So I think I'm coming down with a cold. I think Lucas is the same. Luckily it's the second last day. Well not luckily. It's the second last day so if I'm going to get a cold I'd rather get it now. Hello, firstly I need to apologise for the lack of footage for today, it's probably going to be quite a short video, but we've had quite a serious accident as far as Lucas's haemophilia is concerned. Might sound like nothing, but it is quite serious. Stood on a piece of glass. Now again, it doesn't sound like much, but as somebody who cannot stop bleeding, it tends to be quite serious. Now we're very, very, very lucky this holiday. He's hurt himself several times because he's the clumsiest child I've ever met in my life. Just on holiday though. <laughs> but luckily with sheer quickness and luck and everything that comes with it, we've managed to stop the bleeding. And he was never gonna like die. bleed out. He was never gonna die of blood loss, but would have meant the trip to the hospital. Yeah, like Danielle says, under normal circumstances, we would have to go to hospital so he could have an injection with a replacement factor in his blood. But because we managed to stop the bleeding, um, we didn't need that. Luckily, because it's about an hour, hour and a half away in the taxi to the hospital. But so, things could still change again. Yes, like Danielle says, things can still change. He's currently sitting on the bed. He needs to have his foot in the air. We've had ice on it. We've had pressure on it for about half an hour next to the pool. We've just came back up. There's been some lovely people down there. The lifeguard came, cleaned the wound. I found the piece of glass. So yeah. He's feeling a little bit sorry for himself, which is completely understandable because it would have really hurt. And there was lots of fuss around him, he was very tired, there was lots going on. So our last night in Salou, Spain. We just spent the whole evening walking around trying to find a supermarket that's open for supplies tomorrow morning. We eventually found one as it was shutting, so we ran in, ran around, paid over the odds for everything. There was a guy shouting two euros, two euros, and on the stickers it was saying 150, one euro. But we didn't care. It's too late, I've had too long of a day. And bless him, Lucas is desperate to get out of his pram and we can it because of his foot. So this is us signing off for the night in a gorgeous 23 degree night. Clear skies. 
little wind next to the sea where we, where we started this all this morning. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> Lucas is trying to run away. So yeah, this is us signing off our last night. When we sign off tomorrow, fingers crossed we're going to be in our own bed. Oh, comfy mattress. Warm sheet. More than one pillow. <laughs> yeah, we're excited to get home now. It's been a long week. Right. So, night night, guys. How are you going to say night night? Night night. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Night night, guys. See you tomorrow.